Welcome to Kempo University. My name is Al Babinick. This is Ted. He's going to be helping us. We're talking about flashing mace and how we can get the temple as a target and why waste a motion. So I was going through the manual and I came upon flashing mace and I realized I've been doing this technique a little bit different for about 15 years now. I totally forgot how it was originally went. The original version, when he punches and I just bring my head up, my hand up, I mean, see how he's still facing me? I can't get his temple. I could hit him in the nose, but I can't get the temple. So that's just going to hit there and it's not going to do what you want it to do. You need that hammer fist to be a glancing hammer fist through the temple to start your spin. He throws the punch at me, I step, and when I break his arm here and I get my check, do you see how that turns his head for the temple shot? And then I can get my, my spin through on that. So we do this technique, I'm gonna do the whole thing. So he throws the punch, I get the break, I hit, and I come in with my double spin, then I can hit down, boom, and get my hit going up. So that's how we wanna do it. So I want that hammer fist to be a glancing hammer fist through the temple, otherwise, your hand gets stuck and you can't get your whole spin in there. And that is an extra move you could throw in on flashing mace. Been doing it for 15 years that way, but might be new to you. Thank you for watching this video production from Kempo University.